Hey guys, uh, Jack Boyles here today, uh, Steam Engines USA. This is a little different video that I got for you. Um, I had a check engine light come onto my vehicle. And so, how many of you have a light come on and then you go throughout you know, the, the year trying to get your check engine light to go off so you can get your car inspected? Well, that's where I'm at today. Um, I finally got this passed with a waiver. So um, this is a 2005 Toyota Sienna van. Works great, it's a great car, very dependable. We love it, we've had it for many years. However, the check engine light comes on and it's one of the emission, one of the sensors, the oxygen sensor and the catalytic converter is bad, right? So to replace that, you have to spend hundreds of dollars or you can drill out your catalytic uh, the pipe coming off a catalytic converter put a new oxygen sensor on there i mean just spend hundreds of dollars to replace a sensor that all it does is help the emissions burn a little cleaner okay so i'm all about you know helping the planet and keeping you know my my vehicles running good however it is very minor it is uh, almost um irritating uh, to a extent and so what happens is the right now it's off but the little check engine light would come on up here and you'd get little lights across the screen and I drove basically all year long with these lights coming across as you can see I've got 253,000 miles on this vehicle and I don't know about you but I put about 30,000 miles a year on a vehicle right so I go to get my sticker, which I now have in my inspection at my registration card, will not pass. So I tried uh, hooking up the code reader, clearing out the codes, um, and then this vehicle, you have to get down to one code. You can have one error and DMV will pass it and I can get my, go and pay my taxes and get my sticker, uh, $106. Okay, pay my taxes and get a sticker uh, on a vehicle worth $4,820. But no, so I spend weeks trying to get this light to go off. Ultimately, I get fed up and I take it to uh, a really good friend of mine, a mechanic, and I'm just like, fix it. I don't care, just fix it. I'm tired of dealing with it. Um, so, he goes and gets me a waiver. So this is, you can go to the DMV and basically you can present that it was rejected, not just once, but twice, right? And uh, this was the error code. That's uh, the catalyst motor drive conditions. Um, so basically it was the EVAP, the catalytic converter sensor. It actually had about six uh, errors initially and we got down to just two. We had two errors. So they approved the waiver, right? Got the waiver approved. Retain this for your records. Retain this for your records, right? So here's why I made this video. So the irritating thing, because I had a check engine light and my oxygen sensor on a catalytic converter was not burning clean enough, I had to spend $291 <laughs> to get a little sticker for another year on a 2005 van that's got 253,000 miles on it. Do you realize if I keep doing this, $200 and $91 a year to get a sticker, that's $3,000 in 10 years. This vehicle is not worth $3,000. <laughs> so yeah, state of North Carolina, our congressmen, representatives, y'all need to do something about this because this is ridiculous. There is no reason that I should have to spend $300 to get a sticker just so I can drive my car legally for another year. 
You know, I follow laws. I'm a law-abiding citizen. Um, <laughs> and I laugh because some of you know what I do for a living. But um, this is ridiculous, okay? This is uh, taxing uh, our citizens excessively, okay? If you want me to just go pay, you know, my $42 in property tax and another $25, oh, I got a late fee, $25, because I couldn't get my light cut off in time to get this thing to pass. So $36 for license. So really that's all I should have had to pay is $36 for my sticker. But when you add all this up, <clears throat> add all this up, $107.78, counting my $25 late fee. All right, I'm okay with that part minus the late fee, okay? Should I be charged a late fee since my vehicle would not pass inspection? Huh. That's like tax on top of tax, isn't it now? So then I have to go pay another $184 to get this service, to get a waiver. So there you go, $300, $291 to get a little sticker and to clear out the lights on my car. So just wanted to rant a little bit. If you know a representative, a congressman, maybe y'all can do something about this in North Carolina. I think it's a little ridiculous. So, there you go. Oh wait, look. All of that. Just so I could get that. All right, that's all. We got it now, $291. I'm legal. Have a great day.